Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another video. Sorry it took me a while to get to this one. There's a lot going down in the Dead by Daylight community right now, and also the wider horror community. We have Alien Romulus coming out this week, and obviously I'm going to be making a lot of stuff on that because, oh, I've been excited for that movie for quite some time. But another uh, one of my favorite horror franchises, and technically my favorite horror movie, but Halloween is getting two new games made by Boss Team Games, which made the Evil Dead asymmetrical game that unfortunately uh, kind of died off, but that's no surprise considering that's how asymmetrical games go that aren't dead by daylight and uh they are putting an emphasis on one of these games being very story focused but they've kind of leaked some things in like their verbiage that are kind of suspicious like you get to relive moments from the franchise and <laughs> stuff like that and play classic characters which is starting to make me think we're kind of going either gearing towards an asim itself or a multiplayer mode in this uh, story experience at the very very least um so that obviously makes me uh, quite nervous especially as a fan of the franchise because uh, as we've seen uh, multiple other asims have been spawned from singular franchises and even the original ones that don't have an IP behind them typically don't do kind of well. So I think today what I want to focus on while I'm excited for the uh, new Halloween games, of course I am, as well as bodying his, his little rat demon back there. <laughs> what I want to focus on today is kind of a... Uh, a, a guide, not a Zeno guide, but a guide to not failing making an ASIM because I feel like we've had enough at this point that have either like actively, you know, died as in they've been shut down or have kind of suffered like a soft death where they just have low player counts and people aren't interested anymore. So let's cover the things you should not do, mistakes you should not repeat if you want your ASIM to be successful. First, it can be unbalanced, but it has to be unbalanced in a fun way. Uh, I feel like well, I, I think that's been consistent against all these ASIMs is there has been some sort of meta, some sort of really strong A, B, or C, whether that be a character, an item, something that has been unfun in a way that it's fun at someone else's expense. And that can be said that like that's kind of what built Dead by Daylight. We had old stuff like old BMPs that would insta-complete gens and stuff like that, but those were removed for a reason. And DBD is still flourishing to this day because they are actually willing to change things that uh, have been plaguing the game for quite some time. Not as much back in the day, but these days they change things that are frustrating and annoying and make the game way more fun to play. Um, previously, in a lot of different ASIMs that have tried to rival DBD, uh, they just kind of go, mm, but it's a party game, so we're not going to balance anything. <laughs> I feel like there's, it's like two extremes, right? Like, if it's a party game, yeah, that's great, and we should, uh, you know, keep the fun aspects of it, but if it's fun at somebody else's expense, and it's fun at somebody else's expense consistently, uh, there's a group here that's just, like, not having fun while these guys are, and th these people who are having, who are not having fun because they are the expense part of that equation, they're gonna stop playing the game over time, and then this side of the player base that uses these things or plays this role is gonna run out of people to play with or, you know, have a long queue times at the very least, and that's gonna be rough, so... ASIMs can be unbalanced, but they they need to be unbalanced in a fun way, and especially not fun in a way that's at somebody else's expense. Second, if the community collectively complains about it, please change it, or at least empathize with it. I've seen ASIM company after ASIM company, whether it be VHS, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they are so resistant to change that it seems like the, 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 the developers are just actively not listening to the community. If the community has an outcry that this map is bad, this character is bad, we don't like playing against this map or this character, it, you should probably be looking to change that. I'm not saying like completely live by mob rule here, because obviously, as you've seen in the Dead by Daylight community, a lot of people complain just to complain, and not every um, complaint is in a sense valid, because it's a lot of times just a skill issue. <laughs> a lot of people, that's why, like, if you look at the killers that are, like, super high kill rates in Dead by Daylight, a lot of them aren't even A tier. <laughs> because people just, either those characters just specialize in pub stopping, or people just don't learn their counterplay. Like, Pig does not need to be nerfed, but Pig has a high kill rate. <laughs> But in that case, you should at least empathize with, oh yeah, that I can see how it can be really frustrating to face X character, but maybe, maybe you should try ABC, you know, like try to be empathetic to the fact that they are not having a good time at the very least. Cause I've, I've had, I've seen so many instances of, of the devs, like the actual devs behind one of these uh, alternate ASIMs just be like, yeah, well, we're not changing it. And also you're wrong. <laughs> it's just like, okay, well, cool. I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I, I don't know. I'll just, screw me, I guess. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do in that situation? And I feel like a lot of that comes with the attitude, which leads into our third point, which is uh, terrible community uh, public rep 
Uh, I, it, even if the community is being babies out there or being unfair, I've seen so many devs be like super condescending about it, and it's not a good look. I'm sure one of these in particular comes to mind that the devs are just we're just like you don't know what you're talking about and you're just bad and you're just wrong like about like everything i'm not changing anything and if you have a complaint about anything it's just not correct and i'm going to actively fight with people on twitter to prove my point as the dev as the dev <laughs> which is just like wild <laughs> like I had to have all that that pr go off the rails in a negative way like if you are a just an average joe schmo out there on the internet with no like company presence yeah you can argue like a redditor anywhere you want including on reddit but like doing that as the dev of your game out there in public is a bad look it's a bad look to be a redditor arguing out here for something as, as tiny as a mechanic in a game it's not something to be condescending about and you do have to uphold your brand I, I like it. I bring this up like every other video. I'm sorry, but it's like it's my frame of reference, right? Like I was a teacher for a long time. It'd be like if I was like walking around in my community going like, yeah, I hate kids. Kids suck. Kids are terrible. I hate them. <laughs> like like the people in my community would be like, uh, yeah, I heard us uh, uh, Mr. So-and-so the other day uh, at Walmart just like yelling about how dumb kids are. Like, yeah, that would get me in trouble at work, <laughs> right? So obviously that's going to have negative repercussions on your place of work and the thing that you do and i don't for some reason i've seen so many all asim devs just kind of like not make that connection <laughs> that like hmm maybe if i'm really argumentative and condescending out there in public people don't want to buy my game <laughs> but like they just don't make that connection um and it's a it's weird that's been repeated this much finally this one's kind of just like a super vague one but try to avoid any major controversies uh I'll, most of these asims have had one big major controversy vhs in particular comes to mind with stealing lily pie's skin uh despite uh, them not giving them the permission to use it um which was a big uh, very big uh, along with some other things that uh unfortunately happened in the vhs community but that's probably one of the lighter ones uh, the not as super intense ones um but there, there, a lot of these asims are usually bogged down by some sort of major controversy or mishandling of a otherwise uh, serious or respectful situation um so uh, it, it, that one's incredibly vague, but please try to avoid doing something seriously stupid or seriously dumb, like taking somebody's work or worse, uh, because that's obviously going to sink your ship faster than you can blink. Yeah, what are some mistakes that you think ASIMs need to not do in order to survive, in order to stand a chance against Dead by Daylight? Let me know down in the comments below, man. That's going to be it for today's video. But I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. And if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.